Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you the top five mistakes that people make when wiring an electrical outlet that they may not realize is incorrect. And, and then at the end of those five, I'm going to show you uh, what the inside of one of the outlets looks like and display a reason why you should not do one of these methods. You'll be really surprised to see it. And, at the, and finally, my preferred way to wire it up, it's going to be really easy. So let's get to the workbench and if you feel like any of this is helpful, or informative, please hit that like button for me. Let's dive right into it. The first mistake that you'll see is that when stripping the wire and installing it here, you'll have too much of the copper exposed where it's kind of be too far beyond the screw where this could potentially come into contact with something else in the, the side of the box or maybe another wire, even your ground wire should it come loose. And so this is the first mistake is how you strip the wire and also uh, how you create your little J hook. Okay. So that's the first mistake is leaving too much exposed down here. The second mistake would be having too short of a J hook and now you've got the insulation pinched up underneath the, the screw here. When you do that, it's really, the uh, screw is really putting its pressure on the insulation and not the wire. So you could create a little gap in there, which would also create an arc. And if you get an arc, you've got extreme heat and that's how you start melting the outlet and potentially cause a fire. And then another thing you see here is, um, I'm hoping that you can see it, is the wire is not pushed around the uh, stem of the screw. It's sticking out up in the top and so it's not making the right contact it could potentially slip off and that's another one in there that you know it's a bonus one it would be number six since I have this one here you could see that this one this J hook is wrapped the wrong way it's going counterclockwise it's supposed to go clockwise as you tighten tighten down on it when it's the wrong way it's gonna push the wire back out okay it's gonna loosen it unless you're really holding it in with your other hand. However, if you have it going clockwise, it's gonna pull that wire back in as it should. So again, even though this one looks like it's, this one is stripped properly, you have the right amount of insulation and, uh, and copper, but it's just going in the wrong direction. All right, so th that's those. Let's go to another one that, <laughs> we see often as you know people are doubling up maybe this one was taken by another uh, load wire and you want to have an, another you need another wire to go someplace else doubling up here is an absolute no no you cannot do this something's gonna slip off here you're gonna have arcing in here this is extremely dangerous never do it if you're trying to get power to another line then do the right thing and get a wire nut out here okay and then and then pigtail it have one going here and then one going to wherever it else is that you're trying to take one of these wires to. All right. All right. Now, number five, and this is the biggest one, the biggest mistake that I see is backstabbing. Yeah, it's a mistake. And I'm going to show you why in a second. Backstabbing should not be anything that you entertain. And if you pull out one of your outlets and it's backstabbed, immediately rewire it. Even, you know, they the companies are making these outlets for convenience it's laziness and laziness is going to potentially burn your house down or worse now i don't want to mention what worse could be on youtube because i don't need a strike but um i cut open this outlet on this side so you can see what's going on when you backstab it okay so you see in here it's got a little metal flap that is going to pinch the wire when you put it in. So if you put the wire in here, it's just got a little pinch point, okay? It's almost it's like this, a little pinch point in here, and that's it. All of the current that this, this line is gonna provide and all the draw on the other side of your outlet is going through a tiny little pinch point, very little surface area, right? Very little surface area. And that is a huge problem. That's dangerous. Plus, over time, these things will weaken, right? So that 
it's not right now you may have a certain number of pounds of pressure on the pinch and then over time it's going to loosen just like the inside of your outlets loosen you notice old outlets sometimes the uh, plug is slipping out because the pinch points in there which is right in here they're starting to to widen and spread and now it's not staying in properly imagine that happening here with the wire because you're not relying on a screw or or torque you're relying on this to maintain its own its own torque over time without the ability to tighten it down so again do not backstab your outlet now i'm going to show you my preferred method here we go a lot of the newer outlets have this now and this happens to be a commercial outlet but notice there's a spot in here where you've got let me see if i can use this wire to show you this piece here you could put the wire behind it and tighten it down in there and that is much better for multiple reasons first you've got you don't have to worry about j hooking this and potentially making it too long or too short the only thing you're going to do is watch the total length and make sure it's at the right length so you don't want to have the insulation underneath here and you you want to have just a little bit of copper showing okay so then when we tighten it down okay that is tight it's not going anywhere and we've got plenty of surface area surrounding on um, all sides just about of this of this wire so you've got a lot of contact with the wire on the outlet here and this is i i feel more comfortable with this not slipping out than with the slipping out of here so this is the way to go this is my preferred method and um I would buy these commercial outlets, which I'm going to talk about in an upcoming video. If uh, you don't want to swap your outlet, just make sure you're wiring it properly and don't do the things that I mentioned earlier in this video. Let me know in the comments what you think and what method you, you uh, traditionally use and whether you've seen mistakes like this made, maybe you've made them yourselves. If you're in the business, you probably have strong opinions on this if you're an electrician. And I've seen these kinds of mistakes constantly when I'm helping others and working on electrical outlets even in my own house. I've seen the way the prior owner had done things and even the builder uh, wouldn't pass code today. So um, again, I appreciate you for watching. Please give me that thumbs up and uh, looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Have a great day everyone.